my name is Renee and this is my knitting podcast. Um, seen everybody else do a knitting podcast, so I said, well, I could do that. So, here I am. Um, I have brought myself some coffee, some espresso, and some soy milk, and some sugar, and some cinnamon, and it's phenomenal. If you don't put cinnamon in your coffee, you should try it this month because it's December and it makes it very Christmassy. Oh, and a little dash of nutmeg. Anyways, uh, I'm a very new knitter. Um, I've sewn and made some clothes and stuff um, for almost a full year now. Um, so like construction of garments and stuff, I kind of got a pretty good handle on. Uh, and so just recently, I was just like, I need, I need to learn how to knit. And I've always wanted to learn how to knit. Um, and maybe like a year, a year ago, maybe six months ago, let's say a year, um, I tried knitting <laughs> and just couldn't get past that like first hump learning curve. Uh, and it, in tandem, I was trying crochet and crochet, I was like, this is so easy. And I don't need to like manage these two needles. <laughs> then I could just like get in this real good motion with my one hand. Um, so I crocheted for a little bit. I, uh, I kind of lost interest. I wanted to crochet like a little tank top or something. And uh, I just got I bored and then, and then sewing really took over. Like I just, just like, I just need to sew all the things. So crochet was put on a back burner. I think I made like one, one uh, what do you call it? Dishcloth? Actually, I'll show it. I'll bring it. I don't know why I didn't bring it with me in the first place. So, this is my little washcloth. You can see I was adding and adding and adding, <laughs> as most new knitters and crocheters do. Uh, I I, get, I think this is a double crochet or a half double crochet um, or a half single, I think it's a half single crochet. I don't know, it's been forever. Um, and like I said, I didn't do it for very long, but I did like it. I found the motion super easy to get the hang of, opposed to knitting with like the needles and that's tip the needles and then all the stitches fall off and I, it was just, I wasn't mentally ready yet. <laughs> Um, so I tried to give it another go and this time I pushed through that really crappy first like few days where I just like cast on a few stitches. I try to make like a, a thing <laughs> and it doesn't work <laughs> and then you rip it all out and you do it again. <laughs> so. Uh, I got past that hump, but I'm really happy. Uh, so I wanted to start a podcast, but I didn't want to start a podcast until I finally had at least one finished object. <laughs> I think it'd be weird sitting on here, coming here and be like, hi, this is a knitting podcast. I have nothing to show, but my name's Renee. <laughs> so um, my first finished project that is actually pretty nice, very minimal mistakes, and it will be a Christmas gift is this hat. Uh, and this hat, let me check. This hat is called the Bank Head Hat uh, by Susie Gourlay. I can't remember if I got a, a free pattern off of Lovecrafts or um, Ravelry. Check both, it'll be there. Uh, I'll probably link it just so you can go to it because I really, really like this hat. I did change up the pattern a little bit. Um, not necessarily the pattern, just length of stuff, because this was, this is for my boyfriend and he has a ginormous head. And I wanted the brim to be able to fold over once if you wanted, or twice if you wanted. So, um, because it's a free pattern, I think I can talk about it pretty freely. Um, all it is, is a twisted rib and then a knit for, knit for, <laughs> curl one for like the head portion and then like a pretty rapid decrease at the top and then just uh, pull the little bit together and then sew in your ends. There was only two ends 
This took almost a full ball. Um, uh, it's the Patton's Worsted 100% wool. I started a little knitting journal. It's my first entry. That's the wrong book. <clears throat> That's also the wrong book. <clears throat> this is the right book. Okay. So, uh, it's the Patton's, Patton's Classic Wool Worsted. 3.5 ounces, 100 grams, uh, 194 yards, 177 meters. 100% pure new wool. And that's my little entry. I have the little label and a little piece of the yarn. I did a little diagram uh, and like kind of the measurements I used. And then the type of yarn when I started, when I finished it. Uh, I finished this surprisingly fast since I'm, I am pretty slow because I'm so new. I started it on the 29th of November and I finished it uh, this <laughs> very early this morning. <laughs> like before I went to bed, I was up really, really late because I just needed to finish it. <laughs> and yeah, like I said, it's for a Christmas present for my boyfriend. Um, I thought this was going to be a little scratchier than it is, um, just like feeling the ball initially. Uh, but no, it's not too bad, honestly. I was wearing it, and because I'm inside, and I get all, I got a little warm. Um, it got like a little itchy because I find like anything gets a little itchy, not just the wool. If you get a little hot and you have something on your body, uh, so yeah, it's really basic, um, really basic, and yeah, like I said, it can be folded only once over. Or if you wanted to, you can do it twice to get like a really thick brim. Because uh, I live in Canada and it gets cold here. So I figured I want to keep my boyfriend's little ears warm. This is it folded over twice. Yeah, that's pretty cute. I might make one myself. <laughs> That's my first finish. It's my first finished object, and I like it. <laughs> Isn't the first project I started? I probably started fifteen and just ripped them apart because I either made mistakes I didn't know how to fix, or like they just looked ugly. I didn't have. I was trying to use a different needle size. Blah, blah, blah. So yeah. So I work as we're gonna move on to works in progress. My whips. And the first one I started, I'm really <laughs> of course I had to learn how to knit during Christmas time. Where I'm like, I wanna knit things for myself, but also I have this new thing I can do and I can knit some gifts for some people. <laughs> So this one's supposed this one's for me and it's gonna be for me because I really really want it. Uh, but it might not be getting done till January. I ho hopefully it's done this month. That'd be awesome, but I doubt it because I still want to make gifts for like my mom and dad, and if I have time, my mother-in-law and my father-in-law. So this is the everyday raglan by Sheep and Stitch. It's a free pattern. It's just a really, really, really basic raglan sweater. Um, and I haven't, we do the collar after, apparently. I'm still going through the pattern, obviously. I've split for sleeves and I've knit some of the body. Um, and this wool is 100% Peruvian wool and it's the ecological, Cascade Ecological. And it's, this is the undyed. Uh, when I, God, those skeins are like huge. I bought two of them uh, and I balled them up. <laughs> oh, fun story. Like I said, I am a new knitter. And when I was buying the skeins, 
from the local like local yarn shop here. <laughs> the lady at the till was like, have you ever worked with Hanks before? And I just, I didn't want to say I was a new knitter because I was kind of embarrassed. But I was like, no, I haven't actually. Um, and so she told me that like you need to like ball them up and make sure either have someone hold it or put it over a chair and ball it up. And I was like, oh, okay, thanks. And of course I try, I did it with the first one. And I, I don't think I like fully understood what she meant. <laughs> uh, so I tangled that whole skein up. It was ridiculous. <laughs> I almost should have took some pictures because it, it almost made me be like, I'm not gonna knit. I'm not gonna knit. This is, uh, this is horrible. <laughs> and if I hadn't bought two skeins of it, like two massive skeins of it, I probably wouldn't have knit because I would have had to untangle that whole thing before I started knitting. But I just, I, I was untangling and tangling and then I just started knitting with the second skein and balled that one up correctly. <laughs> um, but yeah, it took me like, hours and hours and hours of untangling this yarn. <laughs> oh, it was horrible. <laughs> but we learned from our mistakes and I'll never do that again. <laughs> um, so yeah, Everyday Raglan by Sheep and Stitch. Uh, I'm so excited to have this done and it's, it's really soft. I fell asleep on it the other day, a little nap in the morning. <laughs> And it, yeah, it's not itchy whatsoever. It's really, really soft. I really, really like it. Um, yeah. And it's a little fuzzy. I was surprised actually how like the fuzz it has. I don't know if that's like the Peruvian or I don't know. I don't know anything about yarn yet. Um, or if it's just like having it undyed does that. I don't know. But I really, really like it because uh, watching all these podcasts and knitting everything, everybody's holding everything with mohair and getting that like poofy, beautiful halo around their garments. And I really, really like it, but I was like, this was just, I just wanted to make something, right? But yeah, I kind of got like a tiny bit of that going on. <laughs> yeah. And my second whip is this. I have the label. Mm. Mm. Yes. My second whip, my second whip is this. It's very in the beginning stages. This wool is by Rosetti Yarns, Alaska. I've never heard anybody else use it. I don't know if, I don't think it's local. I don't think it's local. No, made in Turkey. Very much not local. Uh, and it is 44% acrylic, 26% polyamide, and 15% fine merino wool superwash, and 15% alpaca. And it's very fuzzy, but it's so, like, it, like it's almost like sticky with each other. It's really weird. Uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> But this is going to be a hat. Uh, and more spe specifically, it's going to be the School Run Hat by uh, Penrose Knits, the Knitting Pickle podcast. Uh, she made it. And I just thought it was so cute. I was going to make the headband at first, but, this, uh, but for some reason, I'm just really turned off by them. I, I cast it on and then I was going to do it. But then I was like, ah, I pulled it back. and. Uh, I was like, well, I knit my boyfriend a hat. I was like, maybe I'll just do hats for everyone because I really, really enjoyed knitting this. Um, I don't know why. Maybe, yeah, anyways, I really, really enjoyed knitting that. And with this one, it has that like little Pico edge. Eventually, not yet. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I really enjoyed knitting this hat. So I was like, maybe I'll just do a bunch of hats and I'll be sick of knitting hats. And then I'll do it all again next year. Uh, I think this is DK weight. Yes, it's DK weight. That's what the pattern calls for. And I was specifically looking for DK weight yarn. So I could make this. <laughs> uh, but yeah, it's very fluffy. I really, really like it. It's really, really soft. Uh, 
I, I wanted to do, because this is going to be a gift, is I really wanted to do the, uh, have the, I thought it was, oh my goodness, because this is going to be a gift <laughs> for my mother. And I think my mother can take care of wool things, I don't think, but I think it's just a, in good practice to, when you're giving gifts, not give a whole bunch of work with them, maybe. <laughs> Yeah, so it's super wash and has some acrylic in it, so it can get thrown in the wash on a light cycle and just pulling it out to dry. Like, don't use the dryer, yeah, but I uh, just lay it to flash and then, yeah, just easier for people to take care of. Um, especially because I feel like, I think cats, I think sometimes people think cats, like, oh, they'll not really have to wash them, but like. I don't know if it's because I'm in Canada, but like we wear them a lot here and I feel like I get sweaty in it a lot. I feel like I need to, I should be cleaning my cats quite frequently. Because <laughs> uh, if they're doing their job, right? <laughs> if they're keeping my head warm, I should be a little hot, maybe a little sweaty. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm really excited to give this to my mom. I don't know if it'll get there in time for Christmas because I'm going to have to mail it to her. She lives like across the country from me. Uh, but yeah. Hopefully it gets to her by Christmas. If it doesn't, I'm still gonna give it to her for a Christmas present and just say sorry. It's like, <laughs> yeah. So this is my two w current whips. Those needles, um, I'm gonna use those needles too when I knit my dad's hat. So um, that's it's like a whip that I haven't started yet. <laughs> But it's going to be directly after this one. I just need those needles. Because uh, I did get a interchangeable ne needle set. But it is crap. It already broke. Like, they're just, they were like really, really, really cheap. And like the little connector things to the cable. No. The connector things on the needles that screw onto the cable. I was turning one and it just like broke the glue and then the needle like fell out and i was like well what am i supposed to do with that i can't do that and then i, I knit a few rounds of something I, I think it was with that yarn like this yarn and like it unscrewed itself like and it, like the cable came off and i was like what the hell so i really really don't like it uh also the wood is like i don't know it's like not treated at all so it's like not you know, I know like the wood is gets supposed to give like a little bit more grip and it's like easier for like newer knitters, but it's like, it like hugs the yarn. Like, like it doesn't want to let it go and it's horrible. Uh, to be fair, this yarn is sticky in itself almost like, and a horrible idea to knit this on wooden needles. That's why I switched. Uh, <laughs> But I even tried a different yarn on it, and yeah, it like, it, oh, it's horrible. Uh, so, I don't know what, I guess, I don't know what I'm going to do with those. Nothing, I guess. Uh, so, yeah. Waiting for these needles to be free so I can knit yet another hat. Also, I think maybe it'll make me knit the hat a little faster if I'm not... Or it'll feel a little faster because I'll have like a full finished object um, and then knit another one like because I'm really new to knitting I'm not sure if I'm like a multiple work in progress per person or like a monogamous knitter um, I've been working on that sweater in between things um, like the stuff I made and then ripped apart and then made and ripped apart and then finally made this. <laughs> but I think I'm like, in, I, th I feel, I'm feeling it out. Things can change, you never know. But I think I'm like in between. <laughs> I'm like not totally a monogamous knitter, but I'm not like a have four, five, six whips on the go. I think I, I'm like, I find that really overwhelming. Um, but like having two or three whips on the go, I think it's like the good spot for me because it's enough variety to, it's enough variety to like keep me interested. Like if I get on board one project, I do have like one or another project to pick from. 
Um, and then I can kind of make like three different projects. Like maybe one project I'll be giving mainly, there's a lot of ribbing on it. And then one project is like really mindless and like a whole crap load of stockinette. And then the other one is like smaller accessory fiddly or whatever. Uh, so I have a feeling I'm gonna have like a, a two or three whip thing going on. Like a, I think I'll always have a sweater slash cardigan on the go. Uh, Cause that's like mainly why I got into knitting. I want to knit like all the garments. For me and other people, but like, I want to be selfish at first. <laughs> well, right after Christmas, I want to be selfish. Uh, so yeah, having like a sweater or cardigan always on the go. And then uh, I kind of really want to get in the habit of always having a pair of socks on the go as well. And then kind of like the third one to be like, just whatever, like something new, a hat, accessory, maybe it's another sweater, who knows. But yeah, I kind of like the two main things. I always want like a, a sweater or a cardigan going and then a pair of socks and then like a third one going. I think that'd be good. I think that's a good idea. What do you think? Do you think that's a good idea? <laughs> oh yeah, mostly people do acquisitions at the end. Um, because this is my first podcast, Everything I've got is an acquisition. Uh, and I bought probably too much already. I feel like I'm, I, when I got into sewing, I was watching a lot of sewing YouTube. So, um, like it's the same thing with sewers, like get into sewing as one hobby and then you collect fabric as another hobby. And then knitting, you get into knitting as a hobby and then you get into collecting yarn as your second hobby. Okay. I just checked to see if we were still recording, uh, and we are, so that's good. Um, now I'm paranoid, I need to check again. Okay, no, we're recording. <laughs> um, but my battery was getting really low, so I just plugged it in for now. Yes, acquisitions. Um, let's start those. I'll bring my little bin over here. Okay. Oh, so like I said, I was knitting my mama hat. This is the yarn I'm gonna knit um, my dad's hat in. Uh, it's called Universal Yarn Adore. Uh, so yeah, I've got a, some Adore Universal Yarn. It is 55% superwash merino uh, and 45% acrylic. Like I said, the superwash and acrylic, awesome for gifts. Uh, it's pretty soft. It's not like the softest yarn. It's DK as well, DK. Um, you know, it's really hard, but it's really soft. Um, as I've like felt more yarn, it's like almost like like when I first felt uh, the Peruvian, Peruvian wool by Cascade, I was like, oh, God, that's kind of scratchy. <laughs> and I am pretty sensitive to um, like just being bothered by clothing in general. It's not even just, I'm not like allergic to wool, but like if I can feel anything and something slightly uncomfortable, I'm like, I'll never wear it. <laughs> um, but yeah, when I first felt this, it was just such a good price and I was like, well, if it's gonna be my first sweater, um, who cares, like, right? And then it's 100% wool, it's fairly good price, it's, you get it, um, even if you think it's like a little scratchy. Um, but then I brought it home and as I knit more and more, I've been like, it's not scratchy, it's actually quite soft. <laughs> um, and I have, okay, so. how long ago I bought this, but it was a, uh, I found this at the thrift store here, uh, and it is a hundred percent hand knit, um, made in Ireland with Irish wool and a hundred percent wool. Um, I really freaking hate the buttons on it though. I've been meaning to change them. 
<laughs> um, I think it's because they're plastic. And I think when something looks like glaringly plastic with like a natural fiber, it just looks crappy. And it, maybe if they're smaller or flatter because they're like those, those buttons with that little shank on them. Um, but ugh, I find them horrendous. <laughs> or they work for now. Anyways, what I was saying, because these are both natural wool, like undyed. Um, this sweater compared to this sweater, this is so rough, like so rough compared to this that I'm like, this is like a cloud in comparison. Um, I really like this, it's super warm and I wear it like as a coat almost. Um, I find it a little chilly when it's windy. Like I feel like it kind of passes through it a bit, like the weave isn't quite tight enough. Um, but when it's not windy, it's very, very warm. And yeah, but beautiful, beautiful cables. Um, and not too like thick cables. I'm not, I don't really like really big, th thick, chunky cables, but there's this thing, the whole thing's covered with cables, but they're pretty like, they're pretty simple. I'll show you the back so you can get a better look. Pretty simple and not like huge and chunky. Yeah, I really like that. But yeah, just a, this just feels so much scratchier and rougher, or like some people say rustic. Because uh, it's not itchy. I don't find it itchy at all, but it is like just rougher uh, compared to this. So yeah, I think just the more I'm feeling wool, I'm getting more used to it and how soft it can be. Yeah, so yeah, my dad's yarn. And uh, the remainder of the wool for my sweater. Uh, this is more of the yarn from that hat I just made. Um, what I want to do is make a matching scarf for my boyfriend. Uh, and it's worsted weight. I don't know if I mentioned that. got I think I had four skeins of this that I had bought I, bought. I had almost made a full cardigan <laughs> and I ripped it all back because I didn't like it it I made a size too big um, and it was really weird it was it, you know what I really like it was like a raglan style and it was knit mat back and forth with like a garter edge it was really nice and I think I'd like it in a not so chunky yarn um, because the raglan on it was um, like lace, like it had like little holes on either side of like the raglan part and it was so beautiful, but it just didn't, either this yarn or the chunkiness of this yarn, it just didn't really work. And also, yeah, like I said, the fit, uh, it was way too big um, and it was, Awkward, and I don't know if this is, you should tell me if this is a problem with cardigans in general when you're hand knitting them, but I found, and to be fair, I didn't knit it all the way as long as I should have, or like, it, I just, I didn't finish knitting it, but when I, I tried it on, and like the back of it was getting pulled up, and so like the bottom, like the, the front panels here hung low, but then the back was like riding up on my back. And I was like, I don't like this. This was really uncomfortable. And I don't know if that's just yeah, a size thing or the pattern, I don't know what it was. Um, but I really, really like this wool and it's super soft. Um, because it's purple, maybe I'll save it for making something for my mother because she loves purple. Um, and so this is the Loops and Threads Blush Alpaca, uh, 84 yards, four ounces, uh, and that's 79 meters and 113 grams. And it is super chunky and made of, it's a mixture of 80% acrylic and 20% alpaca. So yeah, I'm excited to make something out of this eventually. And I'm just really struggling to find Pat, chunky patterns that I'm 
liking or like 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 to look at um and like super chunky ones that i'm enjoying i'm finding that difficult uh, <laughs> speaking of really chunky yarn i got more uh, and i think i really want to make a matching set for me out of this that was the intention when i bought it um it's the wool ease um well, these Thick and Quick by Lion Brand Yards, they're super bulky, and it's 80% acrylic and 20% wool, and it's so pretty. It's like this, it's like twisted, and then it has like a very natural color to it with some, gray, some like cooler grays and then warmer browns, and it's just really interesting with the cool and warm tones together. It's very pretty. Yeah. So yeah, I wanna maybe make a matching hat and scarf situation. I think it'd be nice. And again, uh, <laughs> this, oh yeah, this yarn, I actually bought when I was learning how to crochet and I just never got around to using it because I think I wanted to make a top with it. Um, but yeah, it's just, it's 100% acrylic. Spindle yarns, essential basics, 100% acrylic, uh, medium for, so I think that's worsted, worsted weight. And the color is rust. I don't think I, I ever talked about the colors of the other ones, but like I said, I'll probably do a cutaway and in the description, I'll put the, all the information you would need to know if you like the yarn. Um, but this is really soft. I really, really like this yarn. Even it's 100% acrylic and I'm not snobby when it comes to acrylic yarn. Um, there's some acrylic yarn that feels like absolute shit, <laughs> but there's some acrylic yarn like this and like some of the baby acrylic yarn, like I haven't been able to find wool or alpaca or you like or whatever that feels that smooth as like the baby stuff or like if you get that like velvety yarn sometimes like that's super soft so there's a time and a place right um and when you're new and practicing it's the time and place uh, but yeah so I, I like to make something with this it's worsted weight so it would be it would work for a sweater 203 yards um 186 meters. I think it might might have enough for a sweater. I'm not 100% sure yet, but I all need for a sweater. <laughs> like with yarn weight wise and whatnot. So yeah, I'm get, I'm saving the best for last. By the way, um, <laughs> uh, these are all just like cotton yarns I bought at Valley Village, the thrift store here, um, look familiar. <laughs> yeah, just cotton yarns. I, I think it's good to have cotton yarns. They were just like meant for practice. I hate this color, but I can probably make something funky with it. Um, as, I'm, as I'm seeing more yarn, like, and people's like color combinations with their color work, and stuff like that, or like just crazy soft color. I've increasingly liked colors I have previously hated. <laughs> so I'm just kind of like, I really want to have fun with it. And like when I look at something of it, I want to be like, oh, that's, that's fun. <laughs> so I can make a washcloth. I don't know what else you make with this little amount of cotton yarn. Uh, I also I really like this color. What can I make with it? <laughs> I don't know what you make with cotton yarn. Um, this one has a label. It's called Burnett Handicrafter Cotton. 100% USA grown cotton. Um, their color it says ultra soft. It is pretty soft. It's fine. Made in Canada, but with imported fiber. Yeah, because it's an American wool. Or, uh, is there a color? Hot green. Hot green. That shirt. <laughs> Hot green. It's pretty accurate. 
these all don't have they're just they just either threw away the label if they came with one um in the big bag of that of the value village stuff or they just never came with one to begin with but I, they're caught in here <laughs> This yarn is fingering weight bamboo yarn. Um, it, it's from Walmart. I think it's just called the bamboo. I think it's just that. Oh no, I got this at my my sewing shop here. Like it's kind of like Canvas version of Joanne fabric. Um, but I think it's a hundred percent bamboo. I was gonna. I started crocheting socks with these, and <laughs> the pattern just really. I was really good. I was going, and I was. It was. I had like half done one of them, and it maybe like a third done in the second, and then it got to a point with like increases, decreases, where I just knew I messed it up. So I tore it back, balled it up again, and I was like, oh, I'll use it again. Um, and because I have seen, I was like not a hundred percent sure if I was like, do people make socks out of cotton and or bamboo? Uh, and I think they do. Uh, so eventually, I want to make a kind of pair of uh, a pair of socks with these. Uh, it's very silky smooth. I really like really like the yarn. Um, <laughs> but yeah, pair of socks, these summer socks, I suppose. Um, maybe it'll be like little an ankle ones. Speaking of sock yarn, probably got the most basic sock yarn I could find. Uh, and all three of these are the Patton's Croy socks. They're just 100%, what does it say? Oh, interesting. I thought, I think I was getting, because they're both Patton's, the worsted wool that it used for the hat, my finished object hat, this is 100% new wool, pure new wool. And I thought this was too, <clears throat> but it's sock yarn. That, and I thought it was weird because it like specifies it as sock yarn. So it's like, it's weird. It doesn't have like the polyamide or, or nylon in it, but it does. Good, that makes me happy. Uh, so it's 70, they're all 75% wool and 25% nylon. So happy. Um, like I said, oh, um, no, I don't have the label for this one because uh, I started this is a pattern. Started knitting, knitting socks, uh, and they were toe up socks. And I, like all my increases had holes in them and stuff, so I was like, screw this. I'm I'm gonna do a cut down one <clears throat> and see if that works out better for me. Uh, but yeah, this is like a. It's all they're all self striping, which I find cool because I can just do a basic sock and it look more interesting. Uh, but yeah, so this is a self-striping. It, it, it's really interesting, too. It has like this cool gray, a like mixed white and gray, a red, and then like some a brownie color. And they look oddly nice when they're knit up. I like it. Um, yeah, so I got three. I'd like to make like a pair of socks for my boyfriend. Also, I don't think I have enough yarn to make socks for my boyfriend. Because his feet are massive. They're size 15s. Yeah, he can't buy shoes like a normal person. Uh, so I might need to buy a second skein of whichever. whichever either, I don't know. He's going to take one of these. <laughs> so I might need a second skein to make his massively huge socks. So yeah, red and gray and brown one. And then there's just like a straight black, gray, Maybe there's no white specifically, just black and gray, different shades of gray. And it's pretty nice. Um, they're fine. I don't know. I like them. When I knit up that first sock, like, I like the feel of them. I feel like uh, they feel nicer knit up than they do, just like this. Uh, and then this, cr oh, what's the color? The color is Slate Jackard. Okay. And I couldn't, I could not see past me, <laughs> past me, or just 
non-knitting me would have saw this and been like, that is hideous. And it is. And that's why I like it. It is so insane. There's a little bit of green, orange, like purpley pink, 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 yellow, like a, a speckle, like a spotted blue and white. And they're crazy. And at first I was like, I want a sock. I want these socks. And they're really basic. I'm sure like I'll be able to find more and maybe I'll knit a, a pay for, pair for myself. But I saw these and was like, Ooh, I want them. And then instantly thought, you know, I think my father-in-law would love these so much. <laughs> I think he would be like, those are so groovy, man. <laughs> so maybe those will be socks for him. Um, and then last, yes, I bought a Wool in the Gang kit. Uh, Cause I was like, I think it was on sale. It was on sale and it was on sale. And I um, was like, what a better way to learn to knit than get a kit. But then I proceeded to not use the kit and it's Christmas and I wanted to knit stuff for other people. So I think this yarn is on hold. <laughs> this makes me so sad because it's so nice. I think the sweater and this yarn is on hold for now <laughs> until the new year because it's going to be a sweater for me. Uh, and it's the showdown sweater. Um, and I got, it calls for four different colors of yarn in the <clears throat> feeling good yarn. And the feeling good yarn is 70% alpaca, 7% merino, and 23% nylon. 